guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I usually make a lot of things on the fly. That's just the way I cook. So we will name this dish spicy Korean chicken because why not? Uh, I put this frozen ginger in there. Uh, I actually pre-make my own ginger. It takes a lot of preparation. I usually chop it up really, really tiny and then I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I freeze it and then, um, then you have big cubes of ginger. Here I add about a tablespoon of tamari, gluten-free soy sauce. Then I add a tablespoon of pure sesame oil. Here I add two tablespoons of Korean red pepper powder, which you can get at the Asian market. I use a handful of ginger. I had to nuke the ginger cube in the microwave for a few seconds. One teaspoon of this low glycemic apple sweetener. I marinated the meat the night before, so the next evening we are going to start cooking. So I only took out a portion for this meal. So this one I made just for the hubs. And here we go. One tablespoon of sesame oil. Here I add some arrowroot powder, which just adds a little bit of thickness and it makes the meat a little more tender. And of course, no Asian meal is complete without a little side dish of freshly homemade kimchi. And this batch was running low, which is why I made a really large batch. And I actually made another video, a separate video for that. So when you have a chance, check out that one. And here it is, guys, a healthy Asian meal. And I really hope the husband likes it, but we will see. I also wanted to add that this is not my fried rice. I actually got this from my favorite, favorite Thai place uh, in Murfreesboro here in Tennessee. So if you got a chance, go to uh, Pad Thai Cafe. It is really good. It's really good. I like really good chicken. Mm-hmm. 